they were parallel and on the concrete. So that's going to come up next. And like Tom, Tom from Sanford? Yeah. Okay. And is it a male or female? The second position where he said this is the mounted position or where the ground and pound was occurring. This is where he said it happened closer up to the cement. Uh, again, consistent with what Mr. Zimmerman was saying when he was talking to the officers. Our bold question tonight, will George Zimmerman walk? The jury has the case. They'll be back at work tomorrow morning. Live coverage all day long on HLN. And the animation that uh, Mark O'Mara showed this jury, if the jury believes it, he may very well walk. What we've done here, a recreated shooting scene, is taken some uh, freeze frames from that animation. We've got Mike Brooks, our law enforcement analyst with us, Frank Taffy, George Zimmerman's friend. Our jury is here as well. With any questions they have, we're going to answer. But, Frank, I want to take a look at this animation. And I don't know, do you think this animation was accurate? Uh, to a degree, and I want the jury to really focus in on this, please, because this is important. George's vehicle was here, okay, when the night that he saw Trayvon, who was up ahead of him by at least 90 seconds. George's lights were faced in this direction. It's pitch dark back here. So this depiction is not really accurate. You can see. You can't it's see a little in this light, corner But here. this one has Trayvon Martin coming from this direction, not we're, from over there, right? Well, and the reason why he's coming from this direction is exactly a hundred yards from this position right here is where he was staying at. A hundred yards. Let's take a look right, at more of the animation. Hold on, Vinny, before because, you leave that sure. one. Before you leave that one. Juror 10 has a question. Come on. Well, from, from that commentary there, it looks like Trayvon's approach from the distance. I heard some of the cell phone testimony relate that Trayvon might have been all the way down in his father's house. He did say that. <clears throat> he was on the phone and Didi said under testimony to the state attorney that he was near his daddy's house. He wasn't going to run. And she said, why not? He said, because he was right next to his daddy's house. So what does that mean to you? You know, we talked about that, too. House. Where did he go? Did he go down and circle back around? Let's talk about <laughs> position on the ground. This is significant stuff. This animation, Frank Taffy, looks like it has George Zimmerman all the way on the cement. And it looks like Trayvon Martin is all the way on the cement. I'm going to try to recreate it, but this is kind of way they got it set up, like this. This is during the ground and pound. Right. Well, Vinny, uh, first of all, we know that... Uh, Jonathan uh, was the eyewitness here. This is Jonathan got, Good. Yeah, and the light does reflect at least 10 feet out from what, where you can see. But is he on the cement like that, Frank? No, his head is here, and the body is at an angle here. Animation so, incorrect, then. Frank, incorrect, Frank, right hold here. on. Ju yeah. Juror number one has a question. Thank Go ahead. Of course. Actually, I have a question for Frank and a request. Frank, do you think that animation is accurate, where uh, Trayvon is actually mounting? No, not, not here. I think he mounted him, and according to what the... Uh, uh, George said, and the officer that arrived, is his jacket was soaking wet. And this sidewalk does have good drainage. I know that firsthand. This sidewalk right here, the water does drain off it, so it wouldn't absorb into that jacket that we had here. The, the body would have to have been completely immersed in this wet Let's take a position Frank, three. A Let's take a look at position three. Hold on. I have, on. I have a, a follow-up request from Frank. Frank, can you show me on the mannequin? Like if you're mounting it, like you were Trayvon, sure. how you would be able to see that gun. Okay. It, this is easy, okay? okay? First of all, he's moving around like we're dancing at the dance, man. Okay? Gun came out of your this ain't, this ain't no static situation right. like they depicted it in the courtroom. It just wasn't a cadaver laying there. This was a human being, two human beings in a scuffle, in a fight. Uh, his man, this man, George Zimmerman, is in a fight for his life. So the body is moving back and forth. The How's he straddled? The arm doesn't come off that easy, but in this exercise, we'll go ahead and attach it back. But he's, he's got him pinned. This is MMA style here, okay? And as George is wriggling down, George kicks his knee up like this, and this is where the gun gets exposed. It's easy. How are you his squeezing knee? his nose from there? That's what I'm right. wondering. That's, okay, as he's moving up. Reach. Well, this mannequin, this is, uh, you know, so Trayvon, it's the mannequin's fault. Trayvon is almost six feet. He's right. got a pretty good wingspan. So if he covers him like this, he's trying to yeah. cover him because he's screaming for help. Mm -hmm. Why else would he be trying to cover his mouth? How tall are you? I'm six foot, exactly. Six foot, mannequin six foot as well.